Vishakhapatnam, the first vessel of indigenous P-15B stealth guided missile destroyer, an improved variant of the Kolkata class destroyers and most advanced vessel ever built by India has been delivered to Indian Navy on 28th October. Regarding this vessel, we have made a video three months back and have explained in great details about its features and timelines for the delivery of various destroyers being built under this class. We have appended the previous video with this update. Please do watch till the end and let us know your opinion about it. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The P-15B is India's most powerful stealth guided missile destroyer under development for Navy. The Project 15B ships feature cutting-edge advanced technology and are comparable to the best ships of similar class anywhere in the world. These ships have been designed indigenously by Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design, belongs to Visakhapatnam class of destroyer and four vessels of this class, Visakhapatnam, Murmugaon, Imphal and Porbandar are being built by Majgaon Dock Limited MDL in India. The Majgaon Dockyards will complete the trials of INS Visakhapatnam and expect it to deliver the stealth destroyer close to the Indian Navy Day in December 2021. According to Indian Navy, the P-15 destroyers incorporate new design, concepts for improved survivability, sea keeping, stealth and maneuverability, which has been achieved through shaping of hull and use of radar transparent deck fittings which makes this ship difficult to detect. Each ship spans 163 meters in length and 17.4 meters at beam and displaces 7,300 tons. These ships will be propelled by four gas turbines to achieve speed in excess of 30 knots and has a range of 4,000 nautical miles. These ships are packed with an array of state-of-art weapons and sensors including multifunctional surveillance radars and vertically launched missile system for long-distance engagement offshore sea-based and air targets. The destroyer is equipped with EL M2248 MF Star S-band AESA multifunctional radar, Thales LW08 D-band air search radar, BEL Hamsa NGBO sonar. With their weapons and sensors like the vertical launched missile system and multifunctional surveillance and threat alert radars, the warship will be capable of long distance engagement offshore sea-based and air targets. The interception range of supersonic Barak NG missile, for instance, has been increased from early 70 km to around 100 km to provide an all-weather defense shield against incoming fighter, drones, helicopters, missiles and other munitions. The strike range of 290 km BrahMos is also now being extended. It will host 4 8 cells, total of 32 Barak 8 air-to-air -air missile with a range of 0.5 km to 100 km. It will also host 2 8 cells of BrahMos anti-ship and lang attack cruise missile. It will have one BAE 5-inch 62 caliber MK45 naval gun and 4 AK630 close-in weapon system. It will also host 4 533mm torpedo tubes and 2 RBO 6000 anti-submarine pocket launchers. The destroyer can further host 2 Seeking or HL through helicopters. The first ship of this class, Visakhapatnam, was launched in April 2015 and is set to be commissioned in 2021. It was followed by the future INS Murmugao which was launched in September 2016. INS Impal is the third ship of Sagapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyer of the Indian Navy. She is being constructed at Majgaon Dock Limited and has been launched on 28th April 2019. The ship is expected to be commissioned by 2023. The fourth and the final vessel of this class will be Porbandar which is set to be launched next year. All the four destroyers are being built at Majgaon Docks Limited. With significant indigenous content, these ships are a true hallmark of self-reliance attained by our country in warship design and shipbuilding and a shining example of the Making India philosophy. This was today's update. 
Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.